Today's look is inspired by Pat McGrath. I feel like she has a few very recognisable styles, but whenever I think of her work, it's always the catwalk look she did for John Galliano and Dior that I think of, with the whole 1920s vibe and the colourful cheeks and the pinned hair and everything. I absolutely love it and I've wanted to do an inspired look for ages. I can't include inspiration pictures in the video because of copyright, so they're going to be linked below. So if you check this out first and then come back to the video, you're going to have a better idea of what's going on. So do that and then let's jump into it. So for the face, I wanted a flat, pale base. So all I'm using for this is a couple of concealers. So I primed first and then I concealed the red bits with a mixture of a cream and yellow concealer. Um, and I really wanted to use my airbrush for the skin, but my airbrush gun is actually broken. So instead, I'm just using this. This is just the palest concealer that I have. Uh, by Gosh, and it's about a thousand years old uh, and I'm just applying this all over the face and I'm just buffing this in with the Makeup Geek face buffing brush and I'm not going to bother going anywhere near the eyes because I, you don't really need to, all of the makeup is going to cover that area up anyway so if you wanted to for the sake of having a base there then you could but I didn't I'm also going over the brows a couple of times with the concealer, but not necessarily to cover them up, but more to just kind of dull them down a bit and take the focus away from them, because my brows are quite dark. So in a lot of the pictures I saw, the models had quite light brows and the makeup went all the way up into the brows and then the new brows were drawn on through the old brows. I've said the word brows like a thousand times now, but that would have been a little bit difficult for me because my brows are so dark. So if you have dark brows and you're planning to use this look for something, I don't know, then you might want to do this step as well. Next, I'm using a really light setting powder. Um, it's a foundation actually, not setting powder, but same thing. And I'm using a lot of it, so the skin almost looks kind of cakey. So as always, I've done one eye, so you can see what we're aiming towards. Uh, so we're going to start with the pink kind of blush, I guess you could call it. So you want to apply this on the cheek, all the way up through the cheekbone, all the way up to the hairline, and then kind of around onto the eye as well, and through the socket, and then up into the front of the brow. Just, just kind of everywhere. If you need to, you can use a smaller brush to help pack on the colour more, but you want to keep the brush big enough that you're not going to get too precise with the application. And then that way it's going to stay nice and blown out like you want it to look. Next, I went in with a purple and I just went around the eyes this time. I brought it out a little bit at the edge because I know that kind of shape works well with my face shape. Um, and I'm also bringing that right up into the brow uh, at the start of the brow again as well. So the whole way through this, I keep picking up that pink eyeshadow again and running that over the edges of the purple because I really wanted that pink colour to show through still. Next, I'm taking this dark bluish purple in the same kind of area really, but keeping the purple and pink showing at the edges. So you're just going from pink to purple to a dark purple. This time it's kind of more confined to the socket area and the inner and outer corner of the lid. And here you see again, I'm going back in with that pink. Next, I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and I'm going right into the socket to add a bunch of depth there. I'm also going to take this underneath the eye and in one of the pictures I saw, I really liked how it looked almost streaky underneath the eye. So I wanted to do a similar kind of thing. So I used this uh, little exact blend brush by Sigma first to create kind of like a patchy effect just by dabbing the colour on. And then I wet a little smudge brush and I pulled that colour down ever so slightly. 
Next, I use this absolutely amazing liner by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the color payoff of this product is crazy, and it does not budge. In a minute, you'll see me trying to blend the product with my fingers a couple of seconds after applying the product, and it does not move. This was the first time I tried it in this look, and now I just kind of want to use it for everything. So I applied this in the inner corner, the center of the lid, and I don't know, kind of at the outer edge as well, just to add to the whole kind of whack it on there kind of look we've got going on. And I also went underneath the brow in short messy strokes. Next I lined my upper and lower waterline with a black liner and then I smushed that down right between the lashes. And then moving on to the lashes, I wanted to make them all clumpy, so I used the tip of the wand to add a bunch of product to them, and then I did the same to the bottom lashes too. Now for the eyebrows, the super scary and intimidating part. So for my positioning of these, I just kind of went through my existing eyebrows, and I used a liquid liner with one of those really flimsy bristles to paint them in, because then you can hold the brush really lightly and just guide the direction of the brush and the product without having absolute control or precision so then you get bits like this where it looks like you messed up but that's actually what you wanted to happen For the lips, I first used that gorgeous silver liner again on the cupid's bow, and then I drew in that 1920s puckered top lip. So you want the focus to be on the center of the lips, and then you want to bring it down at the edges, but still take it right to the uh, corners of your mouth. I filled that in and then I pressed my lips together to transfer that product and then I used a makeup wipe to take away some of that product from around the edges. To finish off, I applied some lip gloss to the top lip and this is Seduction by Jared Cosmetics and then I also dabbed a little bit of this onto the center of the bottom lip as well. But then that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really want to do more of these inspired by looks. So if you have any requests, let me know in the comments. And it can be literally anything. That's the point. So it could be inspired by a celebrity. It could be inspired by a type of bug or a type of bird that has interesting colours. Anything that can just kind of spark inspiration. Because I haven't really taken many request videos before. So we can make this into, into a thing. Make sure you come and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and everything else. Everything will be listed in the description. And thank you for watching.